Today we're gonna to be talking about how an internal combustion engine works and we hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. It's what you say. <laughs> Welcome to The Drawing Board, the show that makes science less about this and more about this. I'm your host, David Franklin, and today we're going to go on vacation. Today we're going to be talking about how a car engine works, mostly because today we begin our cross-country voyage from Arizona, where I live, to Florida, where I will be working the next couple of months, which I'm really excited about all the different show opportunities that are going to open up because of that. But for now, let's start our 3,000-mile journey and let's get to it. So how does an internal combustion engine work? Well, first there is the camshaft, which opens and closes the valves. The valves let in gas and oxygen into the chamber. A spark plug ignites the gas in the chamber, and then a piston is forced downwards by the explosion, which turns the crankshaft, which all the pistons are attached to, then the crankshaft attaches to the alternator, which generates electricity, which keeps the sparks plugs firing, and it's what keeps your car engine moving. This is what's known as a four-stroke motor, meaning there are four main steps that your engine is going to take. One, the intake of gases. Two, the compression of those gases. Three, the ignition of and then explosion of those gases, and then the exhaust of the exploded gases. But that's what happens when gasoline explodes inside of your car engine. What happens when something like nitrous oxide explodes inside your engine, like from Fast and Furious? Who do you really go as fast as they do in the movie? Nitrous oxide or NOS works because once it enters your engine, it breaks down into one part oxygen and two parts nitrogen. That allows your engine to explode much faster and more often because oxygen is necessary for flames and explosions, which is also why people like to have the big block engine sitting outside of their hood so that they can gather more oxygen from outside of the car. So there are essentially two types of NOS systems. One, there is a dry system which sprays the NOS directly into your engine, and two, there is a wet system that puts gasoline and nitrous oxide in at the same time. Some wet systems actually have multiple points where they're putting the NOS in and can actually increase your horsepower up to 3,000 horsepower on your car. Just to put that in perspective, a stock 2015 Mustang has 315 horsepower, a 2015 F-150 has 300 horsepower, a 2015 Honda Accord has 180 horsepower, and a Prius has 134, and a wet NOS system can increase your horsepower by three thousand. So a stock 2015 Mustang weighs 3,700 pounds and can go 150 miles per hour with over 300 horsepower. Imagine what 3,000 horsepower can do if horsepower is the ability to move 550 pounds one foot per second. That's a crazy amount of weight. So yeah, NOS is no joke and Fast and Furious isn't exaggerating at all. It's nasty stuff. Nasty in a good way, but in a dangerous way. That being said, this is the part of the show where I like to tell our audience to use common sense and be as safe as possible, to use any protection or precaution necessary to make sure that they and everyone else around them are as safe as possible. Because even professionally installed NOS is dangerous if used improperly. So make sure if you're gonna do it, be really, 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 really safe. And if you can't or won't do that, don't do it at all. Because if you do, you probably get some of this. to go like this. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Drawing Board. If you like what you saw, go ahead and like and share this video with a friend or a family member. If you want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure to tune in next week when we talk about the Carlsbad Caverns, how caves are formed, and we're going to be talking about a fan favorite, The Goonies, and if the caves in that movie are even possible. And if you have any ideas for discussions or builds or movies or games you'd like us to discuss, go ahead and let us know in the comment section below. And this is the part of the show where I like to remind our audience for the last time not to do anything stupid with the things that they learned today because if they do, they'll probably get some of this. And then I'll probably get some of this. Hit the road, 
Jack And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack And don't you come back no more It's what you say That's how you vlog It looks so beautiful The I'm thinking about it, yeah. I need to do at least a little bit because I'm doing an episode on um, how engines work. 